reclaim.ai tutorial. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use reclaim.ai. So let's get into it. So for those of you who don't know what Reclaim is, Reclaim is an AI tool that lets you manage your calendar. So over here, as you can see, this is what it is doing. You can see it is adding habits, tasks, calendar sync, buffer time, smart one by ones and shared links. So you can see it is doing a bunch of stuff and you can really go ahead and manage your schedule. So let's get into it and it is absolutely free as well however there is a pricing plan but it's also free and these are all the features that come with it so you can see uh it starts at eight dollars per month per user and then we have business which is twelve dollars per user per month and then we have enterprise which is eighteen dollars per user per month so if you want to add more users you got to pay more and over here you can see max users in your team if you go with the starter you can add up to 10 users scheduling links in the free plan but three in the starter and then unlimited in the other ones you can add smart one by one meetings habits calendar sync as well and integrations and analytics so these are all the things that you need to know about there are more features right here if you click on see all features you can compare them over here when you come over to their website and check them out yourself so for now we're going to be continuing with the free plan and you can sign in with your google account so let's get into it so over here this is how it looks like you got to connect your calendar and tell reclaim what you want to make time for and auto schedule your week so let's go ahead and click on continue click on connect your work calendar and after signing in you are good to go and then what you need to do is you can add you know personal use for work just personal use or team company uh, we'll just say personal use and over here let's customize your schedule my role is student improve my work-life balance and click on continue now over here set up your habits so what are some of the habits you want well exercise we can do that we have grocery shopping and we have lunch we can add laundry as well and maybe weekend study so these are some of the things that we do and click on continue and then over here you can auto schedule buffer time as well decompress time schedule a 15 minute break after the meeting if you want to add that or travel time we'll just add decompress time for now click on continue and over here you can create a team invite them or you know whatever you want but you can do this later as well for now we'll just click on finish and we are good to go and over here it's doing its thing is adding all of the calendars all the habits and stuff like that and once it's done you are good to go now over here you can see these are all this is your dashboard on the left hand side you have your planner priorities stats tasks habits smart one ones and then you have calendar sync and scheduling and settings are down below and ai help as well so over here you have these you know tasks if you will or things that you can add within your calendar so let's say we want to click on concepts you know right here you can go ahead and add it right here so you can add them by just clicking on it and you are good to go so as you can see flexible time blocking priorities if you click on any of them the calendar will pop up and you have nothing right now but let's say you have habits you click on habits these are all the habits that you have so you have lunch laundry weekend grocery exercise and you can add new habits as you if you acquire them so uh let's say this is like a medium priority nothing too crazy and over here this is personal work duration you can say 30 minutes maximum one hour and on off hours we do that even on sundays and saturdays anywhere and you can add that whatever you want ideal time what if it if you are available over here we can add like an ideal time so let's say we want to do a specific task at 2 p.m which is the ideal time but if we can't do it we'll just figure it out and you know reclaim we'll put it anywhere it finds and then you can describe it to add a description busy whatever you want so at the top you can give it a title so let's say we want we have a hobby of riding motorcycles so we'll just say a motorcycle ride or you know whatever and you can even add like an emoji so over here we'll say bike motorcycle like that and yeah we'll just simply click on save so this is our new habit there you go 
it is added right here same with over here on the left hand side you have tasks you can add different tasks stats and priorities as well and then over here is your planner at the top now over here you're gonna plan all of your you know weekends or work days so today we have nothing so this is like you know weekday study you can study it over here and then at next day you can see it's already added lunch motorcycle ride exercise and week study in between you can add different tasks so to add tasks simply click on task and create add them over here by clicking on new tasks so let's say we want to add like a task name I have a meeting with james and over here you can set the priority it is high priority uh, duration is going to be one you can split it up minimum duration is 30 maximum is two hours that's fine working hours and you can schedule now or schedule it later due date can be anything but it depends on you you can schedule it for tomorrow and yeah and then just simply click on create there we go we have an entry now if we go into planner you can see over here that we have a meeting with james and you can see it's automatically added it right here in the time slot but you can move it around as well right here and also if you move these around you can see the time as well so if i move it here it's 3 to 4 p.m if i move it here it's 1 to 2 p.m you can change the time as well so you can add whatever you want it's very simple same with priorities as well over here if you click on priorities you're gonna see tasks that have the higher priority first and then you have your stats as well over here you will see your stats no data available as of right now but you know once you start using it you will find your stats and you can see uh, you know how much you've been working how much you've been focusing on your tasks if you've been slacking off or not so it's a really cool planner or it's a really cool tool to actually plan your tasks and yeah you can edit your calendar as well right here by clicking on edit calendar and you can select the connected calendar and you can go ahead and edit those out so you can have separate calendars for separate events so you can have a work calendar you can have a free time calendar and you know you can mess around with it and find how whatever you want and you can mess around with it and play with it and add however you want to add oh yeah so there's there's also one-to-ones as well. So automatically find time for your one-to-one. -one. So right here, you can see recurring meetings allow reclaim of flexible. So these are like, you know, recurring meetings. So you want to click on new smart one-to-one. -one. You can search or enter their emails. You can add the custom titles, description, and then you can add priorities and hours. And yeah, you can add that as well. So there are a bunch of things that you can do. You can add and I believe if you go ahead and use it, you will see that it is actually really, really helpful. So that is it for this video, guys. That is how you do it. That is how you use Reclaim AI. So thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.